How's it going everybody? Back with a two package mail day. Um, haven't been buying a lot of stuff, just kind of been a little bit more, uh, I guess, choosy with my selections of what, I, what I'm collecting. Uh, PC cards, but like I said, grabbed a couple of these. Um, First one, do that one. 2010 Tops cards your mother threw out. Uh, very cool card. He was Nolan Ryan was on the Angels. That's from '74. It's a cool set that the Tops came out with. So then that is a PSA Jim Mint 10. So I'm trying to get as many tens as I can, and it's a lot pricier than. Just getting nines, you can get nines pretty cheap. This is a really, really nice looking card. Um, Twenty or two thousand one no, no, no. tops tribute. Nolan Ryan, and that is a Jim Mint ten as well. Really, really nice looking card. It's happy to have that one in the PC. And then the last one from the same. I got these all from the same buyer, so. Um, it's a 2006 Topps uh, Nolan and uh, Nolan Ryan Allen and Ginter uh, Jim Mint 10 um, in his Angels uniform. So got this one pretty cheap. I'm trying to build. I said I don't think I'm only missing a couple Allen and Ginter Nolan Ryan cards. They only had them in a couple years. 06, 13, 14 maybe. All right here, and I believe this is another order from. Four sharp corners. Is I got two cards. First one, um, actually have this card Let's see. that I'd opened before, but I grabbed the the other one. This is the Topps Tiffany, and I have the Topps too. So, a little bit glossier on the Tiffany. It's like a hobby only. Go for a little bit more premium because they're a little rare. Um, they use kind of the gray cardstock on the regular base tops, and they used a white cardstock, a little bit more premium cardstock when they were making the cards. So, like I said, these are both 88s, PSA 10s from an 80, 83 card. And then the last one I picked up, um, I just wanted this in a Jim Mint 10. I thought it was really cool. Uh, I know when this card came back, came out in, in, in 1989, um, everybody wanted one. It was like, I think they were 15 to $20 just for a base card. Uh, just because it was new and, and Nolan Ryan, as you can see, is not throwing a baseball, he's throwing a football. So, just kind of a crazy little thing that Upper Deck did. and. Uh, card collectors went crazy, so um, picked this one up pretty cheap. And this is a Jim Mint 10 too. So some nice cards for the Nolan Ryan PC and for the my son's collection, hopefully. All right, hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Please like, subscribe, and comment down below.